Well, gracious greetings, St. Stephen family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for a Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, it's the Lenten season, and I pray that your Lenten season is going well. It's those 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Resurrection Sunday. Uh, today, I want to talk about something, as you see, that I am driving. Uh, I've been talking about things that kind of represent Lent or ways that we can carry ourselves during Lent. And just driving, it just hit me again. Just something kind of comes to you and wanted to share with you. You know, Matthew uh, 5, 13 and 14, it talks about uh, we are uh, salt of the earth and we are the light of the world and how important it is for us to keep our flavor, our savor and make a difference as salt. And then of course, to have our luminance as light. And, you know, during Lent, uh, a good way to really be salt and light when you think about it is the way we drive. Uh, if you tuned in for the last one, uh, of course, during Lent, it's not about not sinning because, of course, we're not supposed to fast from sinning, but uh, because we're not supposed to sin. But it is a great example to be salt and to be light while we are driving. And so uh, you think about it, how much road rage is out here and how much aggressive driving is out here. It's not necessarily all of it is uh, breaking the law, you know, because we can't say, well, for lit, you know, I'm not going to speed or for lit, I'm not going to make aggressive lane changes. But you can make sure that you're courteous. You can make sure that, you know, you allow people to kind of get in and to move along and you know how people are sometimes when they see other people come in, they're trying to get in, they actually speed up to make sure that they can't get in um, and that with their philosophy that they're going to lose two and a half seconds as to wherever they're going. And so it's it's a good thing during Lent, even though you may not ever be able to talk to that person. Uh, it's a blessing just to be able to be seen as a courteous, friendly driver, uh, especially uh, here in SoCal, where we know people uh, drive fairly aggressively on so many different fronts. And so just being uh, someone that's courteous, uh, giving a little waves uh, is a good thing. Come to four way stops and, you know, people are barely stopping and not letting people be the one to go ahead and go across. Just simple things during Lent uh, are things that kind of put us back in that mindset of who I am and what I represent especially you know for people that have you know like uh, the fish on the back or you know i love god bumper stickers and all that and so they have these things and we're saying who we are identifying who we are but then we're out there acting like something other than who we identify with and so you know just making sure that we do the little things it's not uh, so much these big earth moving things that we feel like we need to do during Lent, it's the subtle things I think that people notice and cherish the most. You know, those that are married, you know, um, your spouse will tell you, man, if you just do the little things like, I appreciate you, thank you, uh, I miss you, I want you, you know, those four letter words, I want you, I love you, I miss you, you know, those types of things, they just make all the difference. And so just being courteous drivers uh, is a big deal. So just something quick just to share that hit me uh, while I was driving uh, to take some of that aggressiveness out of our driving, which will also help us, you know, leaving a little early can even help to take out some aggression. Again, not something that's uh, necessarily sinful, but uh, even the scripture, when it talks about let us lay aside every sin and weight that so easily beset us. And so weight isn't necessarily sin that it's speaking of. It's just little practices that we do that take away from us being our best self, which uh, being running a little late may make us a little bit more aggressive in our driving. And so it's some type of uh, lit commitment that I will leave a little earlier to give myself a little more pad, which would in turn help me to not be that person. So uh, all of those things can play in and help. I insist. It's your turn. No, but I think it's your turn. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Go. I appreciate your appreciation. After you. After you. Next week, we're going to uh, 
move to a little different topic, but still under the Lenten season umbrella. Um, we want to talk about the difference between, or is there a difference, or should we say Happy Resurrection Day instead of Happy Easter? Uh, is that really a deal? Is that really something? So we'll talk about that. We'll discuss that a little bit. Well, continue to make God proud. All say, Amen.